Hi, I'm Amy Ammon from Amiable Dog Training. Generally speaking, puppies love to follow. And even if they do get distracted, it's pretty easy to get their attention simply by making a sharp noise and luring them to you by running away quickly. But as your pup matures, it gains confidence about leaving and not returning until it's ready. Disobeying the come command can have tragic results, and that's a lesson no dog owner wants his dog to receive. As a responsible owner, you'll want to keep your dog leashed and confined, but still you'll want him to obey the come command so that in and around the house he responds to you. And if a leash breaks or a door is left ajar, that you know he'll return. You can start teaching the come command by first putting him on leash Lizzie, come. and reeling your dog in hand over hand as you back up. When your dog is willingly coming when called, call him and wait for a response. If he doesn't come, jerk the leash as you praise and back up. After using the jerk for a week, you should find that you rarely have to use it. Now see if your dog will come if he's charging toward a doorway or another dog or family member. To teach your dog to ignore distractions, use the jerk as a reminder to come. Call your dog only when you plan to enforce. Also, resist the urge to reach out to your dog. Although you may want to pet him, he may think you're trying to grab him and will avoid coming to you. So again, avoid physical praise and instead express yourself verbally. To teach your dog to come when he's far away, you'll need a long, strong, lightweight cord to practice the wrap, run, and praise. To do this, stand over the cord when your dog is distracted. If he doesn't come when you call, wrap the cord around your gloved hand and run away while giving praise. If you object that your dog obeys but he knows when he's off leash, try this. Arrange a distraction to occur at a specific time. Attach the leash and relax until the distraction steals your dog's attention. Remember, your dog should respond to your normal tone of voice, so don't wave your arms or use threatening sounds. In fact, you may want to fold your arms to reduce the temptation to flail. If your dog failed this test, you can see that he doesn't always come even if he knows he's on leash. All you need to do now is practice getting the dog to respond to you when you're in a position to enforce your command. And that way, when you consistently start to enforce, your dog will consistently give you lassie-like behavior.